vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. The old gentleman? There is a man over here. Let's go talk to him. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. Yeah, because I'm getting, yeah, you're going to get eaten by a bear on a bloody... I was going to say yacht ferry, aren't you, Alan? Oh, sorry, you want me to go there? I don't actually know if you can miss the shot. I think I've waited around for quite a while and we never actually go anywhere. It kind of looks like it's moving, but I don't think it is. So I think you actually have to talk to this guy. The other guy you don't have to. You go near him and just say stuff like you did. Hello. Yeah, Deer Fest is cool. No, I do mind you saying. I'm gonna punch you off this ferry now. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, oh Mr. Wake. Everyone knows Alan Wake. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I could get an interview? Look, no, Mr. Maine, you're not gonna get one. I'm sorry. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be this. Yes, I can. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you do have a lovely holiday. Oh, we certainly will. I'm sure. Hello. Did you get some good photos? I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made a friend. That's cute. Right. Oh, I'm getting a call. Yeah. Hey, bestseller. That was my favorite writer. It's Barry, everyone. I love Barry. Yeah, I'm gonna go stand up here and wait for you to finish talking to Barry. Oh, we actually, oh, we actually are getting closer. I don't know. Actually, I don't know if you can. Maybe I'll try that at some point. I have waited around a bit, but oh, there's a guy now. I've never noticed a guy now. I don't think. Hello. Can I come talk to you? I don't think I can actually. I think I've tried going up here. I never noticed the guy in there though. I know oh, you can't. Yeah, that's right. I can't get up here because of that. Okay. Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. Yeah. Should we go talk to the friendly man over here? I want to say hello to Mr. Friendly. Alright, I can't say any more to Mr. Friendly. Okay. Oh, there's some blood in the back of his... Is he like a serial killer? Okay, yeah, let's get in the car. Okay, sure. I love how bright and sunny the game is, and then you get into the cutscene, and it's like, oh, God, it's gonna rain, and there's gonna be a thunderstorm, it's terrible, it's dark and dreary. I like how there's an abandoned, like, Warehouse or something right next to the diner. Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. Hmm. You can sure trust Alan to behave. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew <laughs> everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. This woman just looks like she's high constantly. Wait. to hear that. Rose. Rose. I love you, Alan. For Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey. Carl? Of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. Yes, he I will. Believe it. I've got all of your books. Oh, all of them. I got the cut up from the bookstore when they took it out. Yeah, I can see that. Right. right. So much for a quiet vacation. Oh, there's a man walking past. What's he doing? To keep it here. Well, okay. Oh, I know what he was doing. Sorry, right, right, now, now that I'm recording, I'm just going to look for silly stuff that I've never bothered looking for in these games. Oh, there's a guy right in the middle of the road. Um, do you want to go stop him before he gets hit by a car? There he goes, he's going for a little jog. Where are you going? Are you staying long, Mr. Wake? I can't believe it. I mean, you're not really having a conversation. It's a very one-sided conversation. So this is, oh, I've got a new inventory item, according to Steam. Ah, uh, this is the sheriff here, that's obviously Rose, the... Oh, it's, hello, Mr. Eyepatch Man. Right now. Oh, 
Ah, coconut. Yeah, I'll play you, coconut. Even though it'll probably get me a copyright strike, but I'll play it. Because I want the achievement <laughs> for playing the song twice. Here we go. We're gonna have to bash it. Bam! Give it a good whack, like Fonzie. Yes! This is it. I've died oh, come on, it's not a bad song, mate. The number one she paid up for the lime. You put the lime in the coconut, you drink them board up. You put the lime in the coconut, you drink them board up. Good song. Hello. Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find stuck to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was mm. giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did. Okay. Sorry, lady. I'm going to go into the darkness because I need the key for the cabin, okay? Female toilets, which aren't openable. Can I actually leave? Probably not. I mean, <laughs> I'm sure I've tried that before. I, I doubt they'd let you leave. Here we go. I'm not in the men's restroom. Hello? And everything suddenly gets darker. Mr. Stucky? Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Nice. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll oh, it's her cabin. Good on you. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. I love how Alice just kind of doesn't really say much about this lady, even though she's been really creepy and weird. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. I'm sure. And now, if I go back down... Oh no, she's still there. Wait. <laughs> I think I have to walk back down further. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. And then... Wow, she's gone. But the old lady was gone. That was what I was going to show you. Um, yeah, she disappears. She must have gone to the male toilet by accident. Yes, I know. You like the light. Okay. Even that sounds better than your singing. There's unattended, like, fries being fried there. So who's actually the cook here? Is someone going to come and check those fries? They seem to be burning. No. Yeah, from there we go, he wishes. Because Alan Wake is an alcoholic. Oh, lovely. Nice. Oh, good, Alice has arrived. I'm gonna leave now, everyone. Goodbye, Rose. See ya. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights. Oh, she's <laughs> her face is so poorly done. Hey, wait, Mrs. Wake. Your your keys. Oh dear. Seems to have had a head, head injury. It truly was. Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. Or a fantastic game. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Batman here on PBFF. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Yeah, the guy on the radio now, Pat Main, he's the um guy we met on the ferry. The, the cool dude. Since my last book. Oh, I've never noticed that. And then Roy Orbison's playing. And now the weather. It's huh. going to be a clear night, so you folks in the big city might want to look up every once in a while see those stars winking down at you. Nah, it gets pretty dark out here, but they'll light your way.
Although, to be fair, I don't think I've played it since I put this on my playlist. So, uh, yeah, that might be why I never noticed. Anyway, good. We love a bit of Roy. Roy Orbison is cool. Divers are. It truly is. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. We only got a bit before it gets dark. It looks pretty light at the moment. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure... Now, we're going to run all the way up this hill because there is something up here. So, we're going to have a little run all the way up here. And this is where the car is, too. So, we walked all the way down there. I don't know why they just didn't spawn us up and then we had the walk down. But, you know... But yeah, right back up here, you get a coffee thermos, so we'll make sure to go get that now. There it is. Hello. Oh, we also get a nice view, apparently. The cabin obviously got its name from the shape of the island. It looked like a giant bird leg. Well, more like a bird foot, but you know. It was a culvera. There was a dormant volcano under it. Oh, a dormant volcano. That's pretty cool. We still left lots of bags in the car. We're not going to bring those in? Apparently not. Nice. Okay. Nothing that way. Let's go. What's this say? Private property, no trespassing. Hmm. I also like how I'm on very low like graphics, but I can still read signs and stuff. I mean, that a lot of games you had on very low, the signs would just be a blurry mess. But no, this game actually gives you decent, like, gra looking graphics, even if you are on very low, so. That's much appreciated. Hello, I'm back. I went for a little jog, Alice. Let's go and uh, get you inside before it gets dark. Come on. Let's go across this rickety bridge that looks like it'll just collapse at any point. Can you swim, Alice? I don't know if you can swim. I don't think Alan can, because whenever he falls in the water, he dies automatically. Bird leg cabin. Lots of birds here. Here we go, we'll open the lock. Good job, Alan, that was a good lock opening. Oh, we actually got to, like, jam that in. There we go. Uh, let's not take a look inside yet. Let's go down to here. There's apparently a basement that we can do. Uh, we better have a look at the house, actually. Oh, no, here we go. This is what I was looking for. The island had once been the site for a love story. Maybe it would be that again. That says... G and B, I think. Might be T and B. Um, oh yeah, we can, here we go. Boom. Alice told me about Cauldron Lake Lodge. The old building used to be a hotel, but these days it was no longer open to the public. Yeah, so that's the lodge. We we'll, uh, it's a cool, it's a cool place actually. I quite like it. Anyway, let's go in and investigate. I have already opened it, Alice, okay? Oh, it's not that dark. It's darker in the cutscenes. Thomas Zane, The Labyrinth of Me, The Temple of Shadow, and... Can't read that last Miss. <coughs> in Her Dreams to Prevail and Kept from Sleep. Uh, there is a... Backyard, here we go. Turn on the radio. Oh, you sly bugger. You didn't mention my name, but you did mention that I'm here. Now it's Rose. Of course it was. <laughs> oh, I love Alan's little groan. Can I turn off the radio? No, I'm just going to have to deal with it. Okay, let's just hope I don't get a copyright strike on any of this music to play. 
I'm trying to stay away from the music or talk over it as much as I can. Uh, if worse comes to worse, I'll just have to mute the game sound while there's music playing. Um, anyway, it shouldn't be too bad, because it, it sort of is, like, muffled by the game anyway, and it's kind of just background noise, so it shouldn't be too bad. Although I did get a copyright strike on, um, a, one of the Bioshock videos, because, like, Beyond the Sea was playing in the background on, like, the radio. And I didn't, I didn't even notice it, I didn't even hear it in-game, so, you know. Another coffee thermos. Uh, these doors don't open at all. That one doesn't even make a sound, does it? No, oh, no, it does. Just didn't run to it properly. Uh, there's not much else upstairs at this point, I don't believe. For a moment, the oppressive feel of the nightmare I had seen on the ferry returned. Oh! Spooky. This is a new outro song. I'm saying goodbye because the video has ended. Da, da, da. Da 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 Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and come back and watch some more as they come online.